Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ today. Uh, you know, first of all, I want to say this, and it's in my heart to say this. Um, I love, was it the president? Ah, God bless you, Joe Biden and Vice President Camilla Harris. I think they're absolutely wonderful. I love them. I, I actually hope they were, I knew they were going to win. They won. Hopefully they won another four more years. Um, Jesus loves you. I love you. God bless them. I think they're doing, you guys are doing a wonderful job. I think Joe, Joe Biden is absolutely splendid. God bless you, Joe Biden. I like Amelia. She's very classy. They're that dynamic duo. God bless them. I just want to congratulate them. I think they're doing a wonderful job. They're feeding us. And, of course, you got a bunch of naysayers. Uh, don't, don't worry about them, Joe and Camille. They're a bunch of dummies. Hey, quit talking about the president and the vice president. It's rude. Pray for them. Well, I just want to say congratulations. Um, Jesus loves you, Camille and Joe Biden. I love you. I think you guys are doing a wonderful job. I'm fans of theirs. I pray for them. And I think they're doing this country, I think they're doing well as well. Um, and I want to say this, quit talking about the president and the vice president. And um, come on, pray for them. Um, pray for them, intercede for them. Uh, I want to say this, I think they're doing a wonderful job. They're feeding us. Man, I've been, we've been, I've never ate so good. Thanks for the extra support and the extra, you know, God bless you guys. I just want to say I love you and God bless you too. And there's nothing impossible with God. Amen. Jesus loves you. He loves the sinner. You know, Jesus came to save the sinner. He said when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us in Romans 5 and 8. Romans 5 and 8 says when we were yet sinners, Christ, God showed his love for us when we were alcoholics and drug dealers and homosexuals and bisexuals and when we were idolaters and gambling and went to Table Mountain and Chansey and uh, had sex with our best friends' wives. When we were yet sinners, God showed... It's easy to show your love for somebody when they're right, but God showed his love for us when we were young. Now, I want to say this. If that's not, if that isn't love, I don't know what is. So God showed his love for us when he sent his son. And Romans 5 and 8 says, when we were yet sinners. Um, so don't ever forget that. Yeah, <laughs> that Jesus showed his love for us. Not when we, were, when we were sinners now. Yeah, you were drinking and smoking and doing drugs and selling drugs and making drugs and in and out of prison and out of your mind and full of the devil and 666 and you know all get all the money it was all about you know making your name and all the get all you can and get all you get yeah cursing and you know when you were a muslim and a Hare krishna and a hindu and in the cartel and you you know you were what you bought out all the porn and masturbated a hundred times a day yeah when when you were a sinner God showed his love for us, and he died for us. So, amen. Romans 5 and 8. That's what it says now. So, Jesus loves you today. And if that is in love, my friend, of course, God loves you. And I love you to do so. I just want to say congratulations. Uh, maybe, I'm, hopefully, you guys win another four. I think you will. Um, but you're doing a wonderful job, and you got my vote, and I love you. God bless you, Joe Biden and Camilla Harris. I love when I when they first came on the scene. I liked them. I like them today. <laughs> Amen. I think they're doing a splendid job. And <coughs> quit talking about the president already and the and the vice president. Have a little class. They're our president and pray for them. Well, I love you and Jesus loves you too. And um, they get my vote. Hopefully, they win another four. Um, call on Jesus Christ today. You know the Bible says when we were yet sinners. Jesus Christ died for us. I want to say this. We all sin. We all come short of the glory of God. And, and I'll say this. Jesus died for us. He said, I've come to call. I'm calling the sinner to repentance. That's good news because we're all sinners in need. And um, I went for them. I had went for them the first time. And I'm going to for four games. It might be a tough fight. Hopefully they'll come out on top. They're fighters. Uh, Camellia, boy, she's a fighter. She'll punch you. 
So was Joe Biden, a tough old man. That's a tough, classy man. Very meek. God bless you, Joe Biden. Um, Jesus Christ loves you. I just want to say this is another grace and hope moment. Amen. From the Reverend. I've been preaching great. I want to say something. I remember John Osteen. Not Joel Osteen, John. I used to, I grew up here in John. Not Joel. I love Joel, but I loved your daddy, John. He was an amazing man of God. John Osteen. That's when they were in the first building. Um, now they got the compact center. And, I, of course, I love Joel Osteen as well. God bless you, Joseph Prince. We eat Singapore. is a beautiful place, a beautiful country. I knew a woman from Singapore. She saved my life. I'm not that. I'm just, she's, God bless you. Beautiful place. Oh, how we need the grace of God. But I remember listening to John, and he was a man of God. Amen. Jesus Christ is soon to come. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it. But through him, the world might be saved. My friend, God does not, God doesn't want to destroy you. Mercy triumphs over judgment, my friend. Mercy, there's mercy today. Accept Jesus Christ today as your Lord and Savior. Amen. So, the scripture says, give honor to what honor is due. And they're our president. I don't care, you know, they're our president. Pray for them. Stop talking about them. That's very, very, very cold. And making fun of people is not cool. Well, God bless you, Joe and Camelia. They're dink you guys, I love you. Jesus loves you. Very classy. Very classy. Dynamic, the dynamic duel. And I think they're... Don't listen to the dumb people. You guys are doing a wonderful job. And thank God you guys are in the White House. And I hope you guys win four more. And you got my vote. But I want to say this. Um... Now, what's what the Bible says? We've all sinned. We all come short of the glory of God. We all need a Savior, and that Savior is Jesus Christ. And I'll say this. I was at the bottom. I was not at the top. I was at the bottom. Yeah, I, I was I was the worst sinner. And I'm here. I've been preaching in the ghetto. You know, I live in the ghetto, and I preach in the ghetto. But it's paradise to me. It's paradise. But I want to say this. Uh, I am not. I've never been. A, uh, I'm from the bottom. Yeah, I'm the bottom guy. <laughs> you know. And I was the worst sinner out here. It was probably worse than any sinner out here. I come out here, and I was far more worse than any sinner that's, that probably has ever watched me, I've ever watched. I was so, I was so, I was full of the devil. And now I'm here because the God of all hope and the infinite grace of God. Tell, I'm full of God, and if God can save me. I want to quote St. Francis of Assisi. He said, if God can work through me, he can work through anybody. Uh, the you know great Saint John of of Assisi, and um, uh, have you heard the story of the three worst sinners? And I know there were thieves, thieves and killers, and they came asking for food. And one of the young men there told them that they were sinners and drove them away. And Saint John of Assisi was so mad at him, he rebuked the daylots out of him. He said, "You go back to those people and you take your food in mind and tell them, and you better beg that they forgive you and tell them." Um, that uh, that they they're welcome here any day. So he went. He told them to forgive them. They came back. They got saved. Yeah. They got saved and they followed Christ to the end. They were on fire for God and they were murderers and thieves and they had came to him. Um, Saint John of Assisi. Oh, what a man of God! Um, he said, "If God can work to me, can work to anybody." Have you heard that story? Check it out. Read about it. It's amazing. What an amazing time. And they got were on fire. They were the worst sinners, but he reached out to them with God's love. And well, God loves you today. Um, Jesus loves you today, Amen. And so do I. Call on Jesus Christ today, my friend. Jesus died for you. If you would just simply ask God to forgive you, He will. Hey, this is the Reverend, the Apostle of Love. Another grace and love moment. And I just want to tell you that um, I don't care what you did. God loves you, and I love you too. And, God will still hear your prayer and protect you and bless you and be with you. And I don't believe, um, you know, I said, well, where's judgment? Well, judgment is Jesus took the judgment of God. Amen. So God bless you guys. But I want to say again, congratulations to Joe Biden. I love you, man. I think you're a remarkable human being. I love Camilla the Death. She's so classy. She's a good woman and she'll punch you. She'll punch you. God bless you guys. Keep up the good work. Hopefully you guys will another four. God bless you. Yeah.